day one. Lithuania, Canada. It's on and pops from Coast Shoot Squared. It's the voice in the mountain. Oh, hmm. Nancy's cut. They missed the crit. It's sister, sister. Michelle the cat. Canada draw first blood. They are the two seed. You know, the one seed here is Germany. There you go. Yeah. I was putting to the test. Come on, I studied. Dancing with somebody. Nazis Kaite swings it. Got a good look for Shulsuke, who will fire. That is fire in the hole. Knocks down the deuce. Throws it no. That was a unique looking scoop there from uh, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Two two. Oh, a nice pocket pass. Shilske sets up Libukaini. Oh, speaking of nice passes, are you kidding me? Got to pay her a finder's fee for that one. Paige Crozen. She whips it. Leads to the leg. Cat with the good hands. And Ploof up to the line. Chance for a two-point opportunity here. I have to say, so far in this tournament, it's not just Michelle Ploof that's looking better. It's Cat Ploof as well. As you might remember, in Japan, she was missing some easy shots underneath the basket. It looked a little rattled out there at times. Well, you know, they, they, there's a thing, and I don't know how true it is, but they talk about how twins are in sync, and, and that's for better or for worse. The good mood, bad mood, when they're both not playing so well, it, it's not usually just one not playing well. It, it's a package deal. Yeah. So, unfortunately for Canada, they, they're both playing well right now. Michelle, she don't miss no free throws. That is money. This Canada was 100% from the free throw line in Utsunomiya. Special K is going to force one up. Rebound goes to Canada. One of the, the rare teams that that have a good combination of size with the Plouffe sisters both standing around six foot three or so. And I'm shoot. Not, I would say a six foot four, maybe even. Man, possibly. They are 190, 192 ish. Well, I'm 190. I just got measured the other day, but I was really. Oh, she's You're center. 190? I am. So you're 6'3 or 6'4? I am 6'3. Okay. And 90 uh, kilos. Oh, there you go. I'm a sizable man. Yeah. I, I don't care what it looks like in our videos that we post. People always say they think I'm tiny. Well. But I'm a sizable man. As a reference, I am 213, yes. and I think I might weigh about 125 at the, at the moment. Thank you for clarifying that for people that think that I'm some type of midget Kevin Hart size we man. we got to get you some plateau shoes for I any won't. next videos we're making. No. Okay. I won't accept that disrespect. Whenever your birthday is, I, I might still give you a pair. Usually I'm big, as, as long as I ain't standing next to somebody like you. Well. Ploof, no. Nazis Kaite. Oh, she's running into trouble. Look at the defense here from the Canadians. Shilske, way out there. And Grigalowski could not get to it. Possession over to the Canadians. Saw their men's team go one and one today after a, a Good start, didn't finish as strong. So the ladies trying to uh, represent with two and oh. The two is on the way. No good for Michelle. Catherine is tripped up. That one called on Nazi Sky Day. I like that high post play for Team Canada where they have a handoff, a sister sister handoff at the right or left elbow. Most often the left from our point of view. And they get a good shot out of it. Because what are you going to do as a defense? You're going to go and Draw two to the ball. That's an easy layup for Cat. If you don't go with the shooter, that's Michelle shooting one at you. Another beautiful action right there. Catherine can't finish off the layup, but really it's poetry in motion in the way that Canada plays. I think it's all it's all mental for them. Oh, late in the shot clock. Special K. Might have got that one to go with contact. She didn't get the whistle, but a 4-4 uh, game is the result. Two and a half minutes in. 
will be action on your screen. Oh, nice setup. Backdoor cut. Michelle's a visionary. Uh, kind of hard to miss Bosch, though, with the flaming red hair. Mm -hmm. In any case, she finds her. Laibukane is going to find her way to the rim. 5-5. Five, five. Offensive foul. Ball back over to Green. Shooters roll. Dwayne assume a one point lead. Cross has been quiet. I was going to say. She hasn't gotten a lot of shots, but that's because the lion's share of the opportunities are. The Blues doing their thing. No, I was just gonna. I just thought about that. Crows on. We haven't seen much of her today at all. But again, it's not needed. And I think teams might have also zoned in on her. She did have six points in the first game, though. Can't forget about that. Crows did. Yeah, quiet six, yeah, but she did have six points. Okay, never mind then. Got to take what the defense gives you. And right now, it is the Plouffe sisters giving Lithuania that work. Ooh. Nice move. Bosch, though, recovers. Shilsuke swinging through on Crows, and she's going to draw the whistle. And time for a media timeout as we're at 6-10 on the game clock. Look, neither team giving up a lot of space. I like the defensive matchup so far. Casey Bosch on Camille Nitsiskaite. That's a, that's a matchup to watch. I, I like that matchup uh, for both, actually, because I think Casey Bosch is one of the stingier defenders in the game. Sure. But Special K's got that Special J, so. It's got that it factor, and I think that she relishes that type of a matchup. She likes a good defender and the challenge that's, uh, that's in front of her, so. One-point game is Canada right now. Shilsuke wants to reroute. What a dime. That time, Nazis Kate converts. Michelle, nope. Oh, what a hustle from Bosch. I thought that was going out of bounds. She'll keep it alive. Oh, but Labukaine was not having it. She swats Michelle. And then Plouffe playing some defense herself. Out of bounds, that'll go off of Canada. And eight seconds left on the shot clock, but we'll see how that last play transpired. They're gonna get to it. Nazis Kate wants the rock. She's got four to shoot. She's got Crozen on her. She don't care nothing about it. Take her off the to-do list. Just yeah. incredible. How, she doesn't even have to be anywhere close to being in balance to get a shot up and in. Other look. The defense on the baseline. Lithuania with a two-point lead as of now. Shulske, that's a misfire. Crozen, oh, setting the screen, but did not do it legally. Offensive foul. She might have been in the middle of the spin while she's setting the screen. She wants an explanation from official Uris. She'll get it. And substitution. As Crozen is out. Bosch will now come in. Another whistle. Lithuania with no fouls to give. They're at six now. So we are halfway through this 10-minute sprint. Bosch starts the offensive possession here for the Canadians. The sisters connect again. There they go again with that pick and roll action. Now they get a little bit of a run into it instead of a handoff, and it again results in an easy score. Playing some good defense, too. Active hands. Four seconds on the shot clock here for Shulsuke. She's going to quickly get it to Special K. They won't get a better look than that. They set up a good screen. 
Yet still shot off the mark. She might just be a better contested shooter than she is no wide open shooter. Apparently the twins connecting like Siamese again. As the Blue Sisters are just a two woman wrecking crew right now for Canada. Oh, give me that. Oh, never mind. Possession will actually stay. They better get a shot up. They do. And it's converted on the inside. Grigalowski doing the honors. As Lithuania lead at 10 9. Shilske caught in a tough position there. She'll get whistled. Two free throws coming up here for Paige Crozen. And a chance for Canada to take the lead. Ooh, no. Mm -hmm. Too much protein on the first attempt. Here comes free throw number two. And Crozen will get that one to go. Look at the defense here. The wingspan of Michelle Plouf getting aggressive with it. She won't get the bucket, but she will get the foul and two free throw attempts. Mm -hmm. That's a problem for Lithuanians as they're at eight fouls. You can't keep being physical like this, especially with the, the bigger and taller Canadians. Look, the one thing that Lithuania has gotten right is they have ran Lithu uh, Canada off of the two-point line. Not a lot of two-point shots going up for Team Canada. And I think that that's where their strength in the first game lied. Like they had four makes out of eight attempts from beyond a two-point line, 50%. And Lithuania zoned in on that. They've given them layups. They've given them screening action. But not a lot of twos made. So, so Lithuania can stick in the game just off of the back of the shooting of Special K. If she can get it going. Not, not as uh, electric from beyond the arc in this game as we saw game one. No, but she still has, has gotten enough. Her and Shulske have gotten enough shots from beyond the arc to go to at least be in the game with four minutes to go. Sure. They are in the penalty, eight, eight fouls. And Canada is one of the more consistent free throw shooting teams. So Lithuania is going to have to play some pretty disciplined defense and also find a way to get some clean looks from beyond the two-point arc. Canada with another foul to give. They got five here. 345 left in this contest. Shulske driving to the baseline. She's got nowhere to go. They got to get a shot up quickly. The Poof sisters are just unfair, man. At that height, to be able to stick with shorter players on drives, to be able to contest passes and shots like they are is just ridiculous. Fresh 12, though, as that one was kicked. Oh, they ran the same play for Special K. Count those. She double dips in the deep end. Michelle Plouffe right back at you. That's the answer you want to see as, a, as you know, being a Canadian fan. No, not phased by that special K hit from long range. Turn right around, you get with yourself. Michelle Plouffe is cooking right now. This is an ideal day one for her. Special K, not that time. Cat. Will snag the rebound. Back out to Michelle. Now Bosch will orchestrate the offense. He's got six to shoot. Bosch will fall away. Tough shot. Right, she's Kaite. What if she's got an eye on that shot clock? Canada doing a real good job on ball screens, running her off of the two-point arc. Casey Bosch fighting over screens and a drop coverage by either one of the Plouffe sisters. Cat no. Michelle on the baseline, going to the reverse. Two twenty and a two-point game. Nitsis Kaite with Bosch on her backside. She'll get the layup to go. 
And here we go. Here we go, boss. Mm -hmm. 120 seconds to go. Crafty move from Michelle Plouffe, but she looks like she's running low on gas. Rigolowskite, yes. Oh, bombshell. Bombshell drops one from the right wing. 16-14. That's a new name. Well, it kind of works. That she dropped the bomb. Her name is Michelle. Come oh, on. Okay. All right. These things come to me organically. Minute 46. Good, good game going here between two one and O teams. A very good game, and, and the star players have come out and, and showed out in this one. Special K with some shots from long range, but mainly Michelle Plouffe, who's taken over today's games. Let's be honest. Eight points in their first game. I think she might be up to double figures in this one. Well, she's she's back looking like the player that we've uh, grown accustomed to seeing. I think they've, they've shaken off those losses to the Australians. They realize the opportunity in front of them right here, right now. And, Given their dominance in 3x3, I think most people expect Canada to, to be in the Olympics. It's, it's just that simple. It's Casey. Oh, by Spice, bringing the moves. Ooh, uh oh. Kaitis mm. Kaite lost her temper there. She was upset with this foul call. Mm -hmm. That might be a lot of ball, but I think she got a lot of arm on that one, too. I think a technical foul was called oh, certainly. on that action. Yeah, you can't you can't do that. You can't slam the ball down. That's uh, that's going to be an automatic tech pretty much every time. And that that will not help Lithuania out as Canada will add to the lead. Bosch with the stroke at the line. So looking very much like the Canadians are going to stay undefeated. They got a four point lead. Minute 20 to go. Unless Lithuania can find some easy looks from two. That one will count. Minute to go. Plu sisters. Cat up to Michelle. Uh oh, offensive foul. That is the seventh on Canada, but no free throws because it's an offensive foul. Substitution is made. Meantime, Crozen is in. Bosch is out. Grigalowski taking the rest for the for the Lithuanians. 54 seconds remaining. Nazi Sky Day trying to find Labukaine on the cut. Good defense there from Michelle Plouffe. Broke up the pass. Shilsuke spins into trouble and then away from trouble. Tough bucket from Gabby. Cat no. But Wilson finds his way back to Michelle. Under 30 seconds now. Two-point game. Canada not safe yet. Catherine Plouffe misses. Here we go. 20 seconds left. Can Lithuania even things up? I think they, they have to look for a two now. Special K running out of time. Oh, they she just glitched. They just glitched. Shot clock violation. I'm not sure what Lithuania was doing there. I had a chance to at least get a two up to try to tie. And Canada are smartly going to use some clock here and try to put this, this one away here. What a tip. I think that will. That's, that's probably going to count. It certainly will go down as a win for Canada. They are the team that will re remain unbeaten between the two. 19 to 16. 
the final. Canada are able to hold off Lithuania as Lithuania did make some mental errors there late.